What are your expectations for a future stronghold? Uh, I'd probably say that we're going to look to build on what we learned in Crusader 2 in terms of kind of what people enjoy the most about the game, what they don't enjoy, how to streamline it while still keeping depth in there, and maybe also sort of you know experimenting a little bit more. Would you like it to be very different from the previous one or improve on what you did? I think with Stronghold we're always looking for a slightly different angle and each game should bring something new to the series so a new Stronghold should bring something new. From where do you take your inspiration for the gameplay mechanics for your games? Um, the first Stronghold was kind of a mix between the city builder aspects of the Caesar series which my boss worked on and the sort of more RTS side of things coming from games like Lords of the Realm and obviously strategy games of the time like Warcraft and Age of Empires later on. Um, so those are kind of, that's the kind of thing that inspired Stronghold in the first place, the kind of combination of RTS, City Builder, all in one go. So Monkey Sun wants to know what my favourite biscuit is. Well, this is the most important question. And my favourite biscuit is probably the classic custard cream. I think you've got to go for a classic. Biscuits come in and out of fashion. It's important to go for a classic. Custard cream's been around forever. Good biscuit. Do you have any wish to produce a game that would change completely from the strategy type you are used to? Uh, yeah, Metamorph Dungeon Creatures coming out this year on Steam Early Access. Crusader 1, remaster. Crusader 3. Crusader 1 has been remastered. Crusader 3, well... It's not in the pipeline at the moment, but who's to say? Florian G asks, will there be a Stronghold 1 reboot? I would personally love to do this, um, but it's not something we've got planned right now, just because we've done the HD titles, we've done the Steam editions, and we kind of feel like that would be too similar to those titles if we did it right now. How did you record the dialogues of all the Arab units in Arabic? Well, it's funny actually, we get, do get asked this, and some people have always wondered if the lines, even the, if the Arabic lines in Crusader are actually in Arabic, and I can tell you they are. So we got the lines, the standard like kind of classic uh, archer lines, we got those translated into Arabic and we recorded them by you know, Arabic voice actors. So yep, they're in Arabic and because we wanted it to be authentic. Josh Beagle asks, will there ever be a version of Stronghold for the Japan, Japan Warring States period? I feel like the original Stronghold and Crusader formula would work great but always wondered if you'll explore other parts of the world with the series. Um, I love Japanese culture and everything Japanese. I've got Japanese tattoo. Um, it'd be great to have that sort of um, kind of era within, within our, any, any sort of franchise. Um, hopefully, never know. The sky's the limit, really. Um, we'll have to see. Adam Miros asks, when will Stronghold 2 be out? I assume you mean the Steam edition. The answer to that is summer this year. Pascal Giovanni, any chance to see a revival of the Lords of the Realm concept, Lords of the Realm 2 concept, or Caesar 2 strategy map, separate building part, separate fighting part? I'm always up for changing the Stronghold series around, so each Stronghold should have its own type of gameplay. So yeah, maybe. Would you make a new Stronghold in 2D? It's a very good question. Um, it's something that I'm sure we will consider in the future because I think, you know, 2D uh, strategy games are kind of back in again. And so I think maybe is the question. I think it'd be something we'd need to look at in the future. And I think it'd be pretty cool. David Foster, did you ever consider making a Caesar 3 equivalent? Well, unfortunately, we don't own Caesar 3, so we can't make any more Caesars. Um, but if we ever get bored of medieval games, then maybe. Joseph De Jesus asks, instead of biscuits, what are your favorite muffins? I like blueberry. Blueberry's a strong choice. Let's say I'm a triple chocolate muffin man myself. I do love a bit of chocolate on chocolate action, so. Skylar Wolf asks, will Space Colony 2 ever be a thing? Uh, nothing planned at the moment, but I personally uh, really hope so. Uh, a lot of love for, for that game. Dor Zubri asks, I would love to know if you're able to develop a compatible version of your games for Mac. We do have versions of Stronghold Crusader and Space Connolly on GOG for Mac, um, but we haven't got any plans to port our other games at the moment. But again, petitions, yeah? 
Nils Dahl, will you fix some bugs in Stronghold Crusader 1 and 2 and release new patches? Yeah, I mean, Stronghold Crusader 1 is pretty tight on bugs, but yeah, we're always up for fixing one or two new ones. Nothing to ask, just want to say I'm from Pakistan, have no money, sorry for pirating all your games. We'll buy every game twice when I'm not poor. Well, thank you to hell. If you're gonna pirate it, then, you know, maybe when, you're, uh, when you've got loads of money in the future, maybe buy it then. So Mason Stewart asks, are there any metalheads in the studio? And if so, what are your favorite bands? Yes, I would consider myself a metalhead. Um, that is a very big question. Uh, ranging from the old school Metallica that I used to gig like covers of to Slipknot to Machine Head uh, some of my favourite kill switch uh, old school Linkin Park not new school it's not good there Matech Tukani what about Stronghold 4 and will it connect to the story of 2 as 3 connected to 1 Ooh. Stronghold 4 Stronghold 4 is too far in the future and as for the story that's even further in the future I guess we're never going to stray too far from the wolf and the rat, but who knows? Maybe Sir William might make a comeback. Joey Campbell! Joey Campbell says, Will there be any Geordie accents in the next game? Well, Joey, we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't include that. That's straight. You see, that's terrible. If you're doing a Geordie accent, you always got to start off with Why yeah, yeah, man. Blazers asks, do you have any vacancies? We do actually. Go on to www.fireflyworlds.com forward slash careers and you will see a job opening for a programmer if that's what something you can do. Duncan Boswell asks, Stronghold Legends 2? Um, that'd be cool. I mean, Game of Thrones is pretty hype right now, so it would be cool. Jaroslaw asks, what's the cost of Stronghold 2 Steam Edition? The same cost as Stronghold Legends Steam Edition, which is £11.99 and £14.99 and euros. Jake Parker asks, would we ever consider bringing Stronghold to a console? Well, Jake, um, it's tricky. You know, RTSs on consoles you know, are a difficult thing to do. Um, we wouldn't rule it out, but at the moment we would say that because Stronghold games work best on PC, we pretty stick to PC. Um, we, uh, we have looked at things like Steam controller support for our games and it kind of works okay, but whether that really would work on say a, a PS4 or a Xbox pad, I'm not sure. So at the moment PC only, but we can never rule it out. Joe O'Connell, has there ever been any Stronghold novels of expanded fiction? I think the characters in the first game were great fun. No, nope, there hasn't been to my knowledge, but yeah, I think it would be nice to try. If you want to have a go, Joe, jo, please do it. Samuel asks, original Stronghold Crusader on smartphone? I mean, he, there's exclamation marks, not question marks, so I don't know what I'm saying like that. But no, but, but Stronghold Kingdoms is coming to iOS and Android very soon. Hello, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and tune in next week for another video from Firefly Studios on YouTube.